What's up, racers? And yes, yes, welcome to Grid. This is going to be my Let's Play through the whole entire game. I know, no, I know, I've said it before, but we are going to complete this goddamn game, even if it kills me. You might hear that I'm a little bit nasally, a little bit bunged up right now. But that's not going to stop us, that's not going to stop the grind on Grid. And if you are new to the channel, hello, hello, hello there, welcome. We play all kind of sim related games here, or I say sim, Gran Turismo Sport, Wreckfest, Dirt Rally, that kind of jazz. And a Grid is the new addition to the family. Now this isn't going to be a review video, I might do that in a couple of episodes time. But we are just going to play the career mode and see how far we can get on the very hardest difficulty. I don't want to be sitting here talking about the differentiations between this and Gran Turismo Sport. That's not what we're here for. Go watch some kind of review videos about that. We are here to play the game and to have fun because that is what this game has been built for. I am properly psyched about this game. I've been looking forward to this for quite a while now. I've got kind of recently hyped over it with all the chitter chatter across the social media so let's get it going introduction make me happy series we can expect more action more drama and it's all happening right here in the WSR holy crap what an introduction that was amazing and uh, yes I actually uh, yes I I wasn't watching the screen I wasn't expecting to be thrown into the action like that but we are in a race looks like some kind of GTE cars we are in the Corvette of course and my God, does it sound good. So already that is a massive positive in my book. When the cars sound fantastic, it kind of gives you that little bit of immersion, that little bit of realism. Even though this game is trying to be an arcade kind of game, it seems like they've got the sounds just right. And my God, the graphics look fantastic as well. Crashed or made a mistake, press triangle to use a flashback. Um, on our very hard playthrough, I don't think we're going to be using many flashbacks. I'm pretty sure we're going to turn that down to zero. But my god, what a fantastic start to, to the game! Graphics, fantastic. Sounds, fantastic. Final lap final in your lap. face. Swinging around the outside of the Dodge Viper as well. Let's see if we can get past this Ferrari up ahead of us. Now, I did want to just test out the contact here just to see what would happen. Also, we're going to test out the flashback as well, just so you can see as we come down the back straight here. Hussein Khan in first place there in the Ferrari, just testing out the contact there. And we're just going to throw it into the wall and we're going to use that flashback. And look at how it's super, super clean. As soon as I press resume, it's back in the game. No loading no buffering we're straight back in we can hit the brake marker get into that corner and get through it safely and that is something that the super casual player can just use over and over again i think there's a limit maybe a limit of five per race here yeah, you see in the bottom left hand corner just below where it says nick whittle it says four so we have four flashbacks remaining for the race obviously you can turn how many you have up and down uh, as we come across the finish line confetti everywhere Bringing over the line for our first victory. One of three races in the tutorial down then. What is going to be next? 
With that wrapped up, it's over to Indianapolis. And Kristen, it's got to be the one to watch. Yeah, you won't want to miss it, Alex. The Grid World Series is so close you can touch it. I reckon there's going to be a brawl out there to make it through. Sticking close to the rear, hunting for that trap, and looking for the overtake. They've lost control. The other team now will be decapitalized. Tire to tire, someone's not coming out of this. That is a freaking cool way to enter a race. That could have been bad. So come on, capitalize on it. Capitalize on it, yes. We dodged all those cars. Obviously, it was totally us and not the... Drafting opportunities, of course. Getting close behind and keep that speed up. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, drafting opportunity. So obviously, this is NASCAR oval racing. Ooh, and a little bit of a touch there from Vandenberg. This nearly sends us onto the inside into those barriers, but we are able to keep it and behind David Fisher now for third Madison King up in first in the slipstream of the cars in front can we go about going three abreast and we're on the inside into this left hand corner can we just hold it the other cars back out nicely look at the sun there that is absolutely beautiful as we round out lap number two of three and uh, yeah as you can tell by the little mini map down on the bottom left we do just break away from them and uh, nothing really happens on that last lap so coming across the line second victory two for two confetti raining explosions going off yes it's another first maybe amateur is way too amateur we will be turning up to very hard don't you worry and it's being settled at brand's hatch kristen the clouds may be gray but the action will be as colorful as ever especially given the added complexity of a waterlogged road surface if you can win in these conditions and under this pressure, well, you are prime Grid World Series material. So without further ado, this final is about to begin. So hold on to your umbrellas. It's race day. Brilliant overtake, just so smooth. Oh, they're throwing some elbows out there. Taking no prisoners. We had a driver heading off the tarmac. We're going to lose some time there. And once again, we are thrown into the thick of it. I friggin' oh, there goes the bonnet. I friggin' love this uh, this tutorial. It's just it's fast paced. You're getting a good uh, feel of different cars. We throw it up the inside of Oliver Edwards there. Get wrecked, son. Someone is spinning around there. That's Nick Whittle. That is our teammate. I'm really excited about the use of a teammate kind of system. There's nemesises, nemesis, nemesises in the game as well which we will come across in the next video as well but in the wet at Brands Hatch boy does it get better than this and once again cars sound great and uh, hey Gran Turismo Sport maybe take note of uh, how it doesn't sound like I'm walking through a freaking hurricane or a waterfall with this uh, wet weather that's going on right now oh we just lost our but uh, yeah there we go there's our bumper so we have no bumper no bonnet we're just using the, we're using the air, we're using the cool air, the cool rain to cool our car down. Freya Thompson into the back of her, uh, phrasing, and uh, we go through up into second place behind Davi Azevedo. I will say that it didn't really feel any different driving in the rain to driving in the dry, but that might be just because we're in front wheel drive cars right now. You know, they don't have that same kind of drama that a rear wheel drive car might have in the wet. So we'll, fight, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out when we uh, go in those cars later on in the uh, series, in the Let's Play. So we have a spotter. The spotter is talking right now. Obviously I'm talking over him so you can't hear him. He says that there's some way that you can uh, talk to him and check about updates on the race. Like where is our rival? 
Where is our teammate? Obviously we can see on the left there that our teammate is in uh, dead last. Yes, well done Nick Whittle. But it's really cool because you can tell your teammate to attack or defend. So say you're in a championship and you're in first position and uh, Nick Whittle is in second. You can tell him to defend so he can hold off players and we can get away or stuff like that. So you can either go attacking or defensive and apparently if you go too attacking then uh, there's a bigger chance of them crashing so you've got to be pretty uh, you've got to be pretty clever with uh, when you ask to attack or defend so it's another level it's another level to the game and uh, I, I find it really interesting and I'm looking forward to using it when it really counts in like the longer uh, championships when we really need to focus on those points to win um, but for now, obviously, it's a tutorial, so it doesn't really matter. Coming around the final corner then, fifth gear. Uh, we don't have any choice because it's automatic right now. But we are going to come across to win once again. Three out of three races coming across the line. There's the confetti. There's the explosions. First place. Don't look at the front of the car. That is an absolute mess. Let's see how they round off the tutorial then. We've had a little bit of an introduction to a couple of cars. What are they going to say? Excellent season. You're going to dominate the Great World Series. You've got the sponsorship lined up. So, it's all down to talent now. Kristen, now you're the expert, but from where I was sitting, that was a final to remember. From a mid-race spin-out to an electrifying finish, this race and the WSR Series has given us plenty to look back on. But what's next? Well, next for those skilled enough to have got this far, Alex, and made it to the top of the standings, is the Grid World Series. If the WSR is the proving ground, then the Grid World Series is the battleground, where the best racers on the planet compete in multiple race disciplines to find out who is the ultimate racer. Well, I can't add anything more to that, Kristen. So, as the dust settles on the WSR today, in the distance, the Grid World Series starts its engines, gearing up for the most thrilling racing action around. And we'll be right there with you. And there it is. We will be there as well. Man, I really freaking enjoyed that introduction. It had everything. It had intensity. It had drama. We got a little look at a couple of different genres of cars that we're going to be driving as well. And I am really looking forward to starting this very hard Let's Play. I hope you are as well. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, liking and subscribing. Thank you to the channel members for obviously doing what you do. And we'll see you in the next one.